Our country is in distress. We see it falling apart. And let me say this, voting helps, but when it is taken over by an evil criminal regime, a communist party leading our country, the question is, you, as Americans, what are you going to do to maintain your freedoms? Remember what happened during the World War. People gave their lives for freedom. Don't forget the price that was paid for freedom. You've seen what happened in World War II and World War I. The Revolutionary War. All these wars. What were they fought for? You talk about freedoms of speech and you, these people sit there and riot and misuse the freedoms that was given to them. Don't forget what the veterans fought for and those who gave their lives for this country. Now we've seen what they did to President Trump. And do you think it's going to stop there? This is how a communist dictatorship runs. Communists and socialists, this is the way they are run. They get rid of their opposition. And then once that threat is gone then they fight amongst themselves and eliminate each one until just like in the movie the highlander till there's only one and that's the way they see it they start wars which we are now entering into a world war three and there will be nuclear exchanges and see, that means money in the elite's pocket. So here's the thing that I think every American patriot, every American should be doing, is flying the American flag upside down, signifying our country is in distress and keep it that way until things are set right because right now we're facing nuclear war are you prepared for that a lot of y'all are sticking your heads in the sand too wrapped up in your own little world too concerned about your channel making money but what about being concerned about putting a stop to evil regimes so that you can have the freedom if you want to make channels on your money on your channels on YouTube or your other social media. Are you wanting World War II? And three? And four? We already had World War II, but think of World War III as a continuation. That's why I mentioned World War II. Because this is what's going to be happening soon. And a lot of you think it's not going to happen. That's the problem. You think it's not going to happen. Because you think this country is great. It is not great. It once was. Now it's fallen. Now you got Islamic terrorists coming over in our country, stirring up stuff, getting this violence being pushed in the these colleges and taking naive and ignorant young people and twisting their minds 
They don't even know what they're doing or what they're saying. They're going along with the flow. Calling for the extermination of Jews. But it's going to lead to the extermination of every American. And it's already begun. And you're too ignorant to see it. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to wake up? When are we going to put a stop to all this? It is time to fire every single one. And that even includes the Republican Party or this flag here is going to be flying over this country. And also the Islamic flags and Chinese flags, Russian flags. We're going to have all kinds flying here except for the American flags. If you value this flag, you'll stand up. Yes, by all means vote, but you see what they're going to do about the voting. So stand up. What are you going to do? Think about it.